A smiling Prime Minister Justin Trudeau walked out of a three-hour caucus meeting today after what we were told was a full and frank discussion with MPs. It all unfolded behind closed doors. There was anticipation that Trudeau would be encouraged to resign. But as MPs emerged, they used words like united after robust and healthy conversations. CTV's Judy Trin is all over this in Ottawa. So, Judy, take us through what went down today. Sandy, this morning the Prime Minister was first to arrive. He was bracing for candid conversations, even criticism, about his leadership. The Prime Minister arrived one and a half hours before the caucus meeting. Reporters gathered at all the entrances, waiting for the drama to unfold. Among the first Liberal MPs to arrive, the vocal Atlantic backbenchers who aren't running again. We do need to change the leadership, but, uh, you know, in the end, uh, caucus majority will rule and... Uh, I'll be able to look in the mirror and say my piece. There are more than 20 Liberals who have signed a letter asking Justin Trudeau to step down. Before the meeting, some said they will consider voting against their own party. None of us are happy to be called garbage. What do our people dear to want to run again? And they're nervous because of what polls are saying. Don't no talk about caucus outside of caucus. Rumblings of the caucus revolt has dominated headlines for nearly two weeks, angering senior members. When you look divided, you look weak. There was another option for, for the 20 or so people apparently that signed a letter that could have had a private meeting with the Prime Minister, outlined their fears and their concerns. It was not necessary. The meeting lasted more than three hours. Sources tell CTV no letter was presented and there was no list of names, but some MPs did go to the mic to speak about leadership change. This is the first time we're actually discussing this issue. So this will be a full conversation. This isn't a code red situation and the Prime Minister can sure as hell handle the truth. And what was happening there, although it will remain confidential, is really about MPs telling the Prime Minister the truth. I believe Justin Trudeau will be leading the next election. So thank you. What Mr. Polyev would do to this country uh, is the type of thing that keeps us all up at night. And I have a lot of pride in a caucus that's willing to have tough conversations. I think that's profoundly democratic. So after a three and a half hour meeting, what isn't clear is what has changed. The Prime Minister appears to be staying on. And although they're united in taking on Pierre Polyev, the Liberals have yet to say what their strategy is. Sandy. All right, Judy, thank you. Let's bring in CTV's chief political correspondent, Vashi Capellas. And Vashi, we've seen a smiling prime minister. The Liberals are saying they are united. Now, I know that you've worked your sources. What are they telling you really happened behind the scenes? Well, I think the Liberals who are speaking to reporters publicly are united behind the Prime Minister, but that doesn't mean everybody in that room was. And my sources are telling me more than 10 MPs went to the microphone to voice their concerns, tell the Prime Minister that they hope he vacates the position leading the Liberal Party. And some of them even issued a, a deadline of sorts saying that they wanted him and hoped, him, hoped that he would make that decision by October the 28th, which isn't too far away. They did not, as a whole, specify what the consequences would be if he does decide to stick around, but many of them are telling me that they would decide not to run again if that were the case. Okay, so as Judy said, Vashi, what isn't clear is what's changed. So is there a next step? Well, the Prime Minister lives another day, right? I think that's the, the bottom line today, Sandy. Whether he will continue to live many more days as leader of the Liberal Party or many more weeks, I think is an open question. Yes, he was able to quell the backlash today, but that doesn't mean it ceases to exist and what form it takes going forward is what I'll be watching for. Sandy. All right, Vashi, thank you as always.